Wake the World um, here in North Carolina. It's a beautiful day. It's October 17th and it was 82 degrees today. I should have been at the lake but I uh, didn't get to go today. But I was going to talk to to you about the history of Wake the World, kind of give you a little background of how everything got started. Back a few years ago in 2007 at church we had a function where some friends brought some kids from a children's home and my first reaction is why aren't these kids at home? How can you not love these kids? And that next thought was, I bet there's a lot of things these kids uh, don't get to do that my kids take for granted. So I looked at my wife and I said, you know what, we ought to go by there and take some of those kids to the lake sometime. She said, well, if you take one of them, you need to take all of them. So I said, well, that's too much work for me. So kind of passed and over the next year, God kind of worked on me. Um, I've been thinking about it some, but really hadn't you know, made any effort to go in that direction. And I got a bad car wreck. Um, a lady hit me from behind doing about 110 miles an hour, flipped my truck a few times, but I basically came out of it uh, pretty much unscathed. Um, so I started thinking about it a little bit more. You know, you, when you go through something like that, you kind of think about your life and what have I done in my life that means anything to anybody else. So it was on my mind, but I still had doubts. I started thinking about, you know, or coming up with excuses or whatever you want to say. I just, like, who am I to go and take these kids to the lake? Why would they let me? I'm not anybody. <clears throat> but over the summer, I'd been wakeboarding and I got, I did well enough that I got invited to go to a U.S. championship in Louisiana. And while I was down there, I won the U.S. Uh, U.S. Masters Wakeboarding Championship, which doesn't mean anything except I'm pretty good for my age. You know, there's a lot of guys that ride way better than me. I'm not that great of a wakeboarder, but for my age, which I'm 50 later this week, Saturday as a matter, matter of fact, um, for my age, I do pretty good. Um, but anyway, that gave me the confidence to say, you know what, I'm going to do this. And I immediately called my friend Eddie. Um, and he said, yeah, that sounds great. We'll, you know, we'll, we'll do that. We'll help you do that. So I called my other friends, uh, Scott, uh, Reynolds, Travis, uh, Sean, and Mike. Um, and that was, th and myself, that was the original eight boat odors that started Wake the World. And we did it. We, well, we got back and I talked to, uh, Cat Barrier at uh, the American Children's Home and told her my idea and I was nervous let me tell you because here I am coming in with this idea and it's like I didn't know if I was gonna get shot down like no we can't allow our kids to you know take a risk or do anything like that but and I went in and uh, and she thought it was a great idea and I went straight from there to the Baptist Children's Home in Thomasville got another positive reaction and from that point on I was on fire about you know getting it done and and there were, you know, the first one, it was a little bit more difficult, you know, just trying to get things lined up and getting people uh, on board with what we were doing. Uh, I have a, uh, an owner, uh, a, a friend that's an owner of a boat dealership, and he had a marina on High Rock Lake, and he let us uh, do Wake the World there. So it was nice to have all that stuff together. When we started, uh, when we started doing this, it was really, I thought, it was all about the kids. That was the whole thing. We we're doing this for the kids. But that first day, it, it was very obvious that is a lot more than that. Is the especially doing it with my friends. It was just so cool to to the change that it had on us. At the end of the day, at the end of the day, we were out there for two hours after it was over. You know, out there till like ten o'clock at night just telling stories about things that had happened that day. We had to come back the next day and do it again, but it was such an awesome experience. And I want to do, I want to talk more about all the amazing stories that we have for the last four years of doing Wake the World, but I'm going to try to keep these videos uh, short and sweet. So that's all for this.